in today's video, we're out bashing burbots, catching whitefish, and hanging with my boys Mitch and Kale and Coda the Boat Dog. Enjoy the show. Mm-hmm. There's a fish coming in. What is it? Oh my God. It's a burbot. You wanna catch a burbot? <laughs> Look at him, not even fighting. Had all the time in the world to get this guy. Now he wants to fight. Save your energy, bud. I'm gonna let you go, don't worry. Don't trip. I'm gonna let you go home. Oh. Little cutie. Relax, bud. Just relax, I'm gonna let you go. Oh. Why'd you do that? Burbit! Get out of here, you little stinker. See ya. Ah, oh, you're such a stinky fish. And he poops all over the hut. They always do that. Here's a fish. Here's a fish coming. Is it a whitey? Looks like. Oh, I can't tell. Yeah, it's a white fish. Ah, oh, lost him. Is he gonna come back for more? Looks like he's coming back for more. Oh, he wants it. That's cool. Gave me two chances this one. He's a nice big whitey. Just got it under the chin. Might lose him in the hole here. Yeah. Booyah! Calm down, bud. On the thingamajig again. Whoa. That's the problem with big holes. <laughs> All right. Nice fish. Nice fish. Send her home. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for giving me two chances. That's so nice of you. They're aggressive here. Oh shit. I think it's a burbot. No, oh, no, it's a whitey. It's a whitey. Come on. Oh, he's gonna eat it. He's not giving up. There we go. I knew he had a problem eating it. That's why he was having a problem eating it. He's got a weird sword nose. Come here, bud. Get your butt up here. This is a, a rough looking fish. He's got a sore lip, 
sword, but yuck. We're gonna let him go. Someone asked for a tip on what kind of foods to pack um, when you're ice fishing, and I think the best foods to pack when ice fishing are ones that you can wrap in tin foil. So this is, you know, take a guess. It's a slice of pie, pizza pie. This one is a breakfast sandwich. Breakfast sandwiches might not be the best things to pack when you're fishing in a hut with other people because eggs kind of smell like farts. But I love my little egg sandwiches, slices of pizza, breakfast burritos. There's, uh, those are like the best things I find that, that you can bring out ice fishing because you can always just throw them over the heater, heat them back up, and it's always awesome to have a nice warm meal when you're out ice fishing. Here we go, another mark. Oh, he hit it. Let's just look at the live scope. Is there two there? Yep, yeah, there was two. Oh, I lost him. See him there? Damn. There was two fighting over it. Here he comes again. Here he comes again. Well, it's a different one, I think. Yeah, there's another one on me. Oh. Well, he didn't like that. Oh. Wow. Oh, he's coming back. He's a crazy one. He's a crazy one. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, I did a big jig when I probably shouldn't have. There we go. I lost him again. What the hell? Come on. What is going on? Oh, big loser. Man, oh man. Here we go, another mark. Big mark coming in fast. Come on, be a Laker. What? Come on. Oh, here he comes again, I think. Where'd he go? Here's another one coming in. Jeez, it's getting crazy. That's a big whitey. Oh. Another one. Wow. What a beast. Jeez, it's getting crazy out here now, guys. It's getting crazy out here now. I'll show you. Oh, he's got a huge lump on his tail, too. What is up with these fish? Hey, quit splashing me. I'll show you this. I don't want to hurt you, bud. Can you see that? Hey, relax. See the big lump on his tail? Ooh. Quit splashing me. Hey, oh. <laughs> Someone asked to see my shuttle, the uh, the milk crate live scope system. So here it is. Pretty simple setup. I just lined, I put some two by fours on the bottom of the live scope system so it's not sitting on the bare ice all the time. Just to keep it up off the ice. Mounted the graph itself on a piece of wood. Black box, another piece of like deck board wood just to mount the black box so I had something to screw the black box to. The lithium battery, 12 amp or 12 volt, 23 amp hour lithium battery just floats in the back. And there's lots of room for all the cables and stuff down there. And then the most complicated part is my the pole. 
and the most expensive part, I guess I could say. I used an old fishing net. So I put this part so I can disconnect my pole from there, stuff the live scope down into there for travel. And when you're ready to fish, it just clips in. I put that there just to have something to support against the, the milk crate itself. And then this is something I bought too, just a piece of like 90 degree PVC pipe that I put onto the end of the pole. So like all I do is I have it Velcro to the side of the box and then it just snaps in. Just Velcro it into the side of the box itself and that will hold it there. And that's it. Oh, here's one. Oh, he's not coming in. Where's he going? It's moving slow. It might be a burby. Kaylee might be going to you. I don't see him anymore. Got, got him? Nice. Oh, here's another one coming. Coming in so fast. Oh my God. Got him. Doubled up. Tank whitey. Oh yeah. Man, I thought that was gonna be a Laker. Big stalker. Don't splash me. You get him, Kale? Bring her over here. Let her go in my hall. A little burby? Sweet. Sweet. We just doubled up. My buddy Kale got a burby. I even said it's coming over to you, I think, man. I'm gonna let him go. Sweet. Nice. There you go. Sweet, man. That's cool. Isn't live scope the best? Like he's coming to you. Yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Love he that. Right when he got there, too. Really, eh? Love that. Oh, here's another one. Oh, it scared him. Oh, here. No. What is this? Got him. Burby. Yeah, he's not bad. Second one today here. Well, third one, I guess, now with Kale's. Oh, he's going crazy. Yeah, he is. He's real, he's like really leopard printed. No, like black spots on him. Huh? Kind of, yeah. Nice try there, you brat. Lake Simcoe, the burbot capital of the world. Did you mark them? Looks big. Did you mark them or did you just yeah, hit it? Yeah. Yeah. Coda, you good? No, he's good. Yeah, the big ones put up a great fight. Nice. Uh, looked a lot bigger than what it was when he was down there. Still, good one. Got him. There he is. That one's got a nice color. Yeah. Nice. Oh, fish. Another burbot. Got him. On the camera. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Jeez, the slake is infested with these things. Oh yeah, straighten your tail. Oof. <laughs> Oof. 
You get to live another day. Thingamajig is on fire. Here we go. Come on. Yeah. Got him. And on that note, I'm going home. <laughs> Oh, there's another one down there, too. He's gone. Yeah. Another one with a thingamajig in the beak. I'll show you guys. Get over here. Quit splashing me. Ooh-wee! Thingamajig in the beak. They love it. This is the 2.75 inch thingamajig. And unhook them, send her home, and I'm going home. Oh boy. Thank you guys for watching another Happy Go Fishing video. We'll see you on the next one. Wow. We just did the outro, and now Kale's hooked up again. But not Mitch. Not Mitch. Another little, like, two pound burbot. Little cutie. So small. <laughs> that one's pretty brown. Yeah. Hey, they're slimy. You got that one on the thingamajig too. Yeah. Good job, Kale. Here, fist bump me. See you later. <laughs>